This is video three of a series of videos I'm making on <coughs> pad tests and trigger tests in my uh, <coughs> do-it-yourself drum set. I'm using the Alessis DM5 as a brain and I'm using the Rick Latham uh, Advanced Funk Studies book for continuity in the tests. The solo you just heard was a test on saying if I could pull off very complicated hi-hat squishes with the D5 and my hi-hat pedal. The D5 is basically on and off. Uh, when it's on, you have open hi-hat. When it's off, it shifts over to close hi-hat. So when you plug your quarter-inch jack into the DM5, it's like uh, ringing a doorbell. When you press the button, it has open hi-hat or closed hi-hat. When you release the button, it has open hi-hat. So I made this pedal. I didn't need a complicated potentiometer in it because, like I said, we're working with an open and a closed circuit. The pedal has a hinge on it. Inside the pedal, there's a spring, so the pedal goes up and down. There's a metal plate sitting on a foam rubber. Uh, it also, this particular one also has a piezo on it because I can use it as a bass drum pedal. It has a uh, nut and bolt up on top. This nut and bolt is made of brass. It's very important because the uh, shiny silver nuts and bolts you find in a hardware store are bad conductors of electricity. So I have this wire connected to say the ground on my corner inch jack, this wire connected to the hot. When the jack is in the D5 and I make contact, I have a sample shift. When I release contact and the circuit is broken, it shifts to the other sample. So when I press it down, I'm playing closed. And when I release the pedal, I'm playing open. It's very simple. Spring can be bought at any Ace Hardware store. For some reason, they don't have them like at Menards or Home Depot or whatever. If you look in the boxes at an Ace Hardware store and you see these springs, I think this is a number 48. Sometimes, if it's not stiff enough for you, you can put two springs in and it'll stiffen the thing up. This is my bass drum pedal and stand. The stand is a Latin percussion cowbell holder. I bent a rod, ran it through a two by four, put two foam strips on it, glued my piece of wood with my rubber on it, onto the two foam strips, put the piezo in back. I didn't even bother uh, taking the piezo out of the box and it works fine. This is very stable even if you're using your toe method. If you want to see the videos in order, you should see video number nine first, then funk pad test video number seven, and then this one, which is funk pad test number three. If you do them in that order, everything will make a lot of sense to you. 